Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a spray nozzle to your bathtub. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm in my bathroom and I have a bathtub and I've just added the spray nozzle. It was actually pretty easy. And you might need a little spray nozzle in your bathtub for a number of reasons. Maybe you just go in there and you wanna hose yourself down. Maybe you like feeling the water cascade all over your body. Maybe you are washing a dog or washing your baby or, or maybe you just needed to kind of clean the bathtub out once in a while. So I wanna show you how I added this $11 spray nozzle to the bathtub. I just picked this up and this is a hose extension here that goes over the faucet in the bathtub here so that I can have a hose. Now, most of the time you will have something like this in your kitchen sink for cleaning dishes and all that, but in a bathtub like this, it's not normal to have a hose like you do sometimes in the shower. Now, now I picked up this one. It's by Versus Spray Danco. Thanks, Dan, for making such great products. And I thought this one would work because it just is like this rubber hose that slips over the faucet itself. Now, one thing I want to tell you here is that you have to look at the faucet because it only works on certain types. So this one does not have the switch for the drain, which is down here, right? So I can flip that. But if you have the plunger up here or a switch, it's not gonna work. It has to be this clean faucet, as you can see, so that it will slip over and then you will tighten it down with the hose clamp on here. So let's get this thing unboxed. All right, so the first thing I wanna say here is this is the piece that's gonna go over the faucet here, but I will tell you, it's pretty robust. I am squeezing it here, so it is flexible, but it's pretty stiff. In fact, it's got this kind of inner flange right here, and like I said, you gotta muscle it to get it out of the way, and so I'm a little worried because this isn't super huge. Can I get it over that? I don't think we have to go very far, just needs to be up like this to create a watertight seal, but it's, stiffer than I would have thought. I would have thought it had been a softer, more flexible silicone without this inner flange, all right? The other thing you're gonna need here is this hose clamp, and you're gonna put this on before you put this over the faucet. So you're gonna put this on like this, if you've ever used one of these on anything, like a car hose. I like the fact that it has this big key here so that you can turn it by hand. Sometimes the ones on the cars have to be turned by a screwdriver or something, so you wanna, probably keep this loose. You can actually not put it up here. You could just let it hang down here. If you forget to put it on, you can just ride it up the long end here all the way up and get it up over the top here. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this on. All right, so I'm gonna try to push it on like this. And yeah, it does have to be manhandled a little bit. All right, what's going on? Actually a little easier than I thought. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clamp and start twisting this down and tighten it until it seems like it's pretty snug on there. All right, that seems like it's on there pretty snug. Now what you're gonna have to do is put on the sprayer handle here. And what you can see is that this is going to get tightened down with this little collar here, but there's also this little rubber washer. So that's gonna go right there to make sure that we have a good seal. So I'm just going to make sure that those are pressed together and then bring down the sleeve here and tighten it, tighten it by hand as tight as I can get it. All right, and now it's a little stiff. It'll probably loosen up a little bit, but I just turn on some water here. Oh, geez. All right, it works. So once you get this up to temp, man, that is gonna make washing a lot easier. Now, one of the things that I would probably say would be an improvement is if it had a little finger trigger or something like that so that it would stop spraying when you released it so that you're only getting spray when you need it. But it's always spraying so you can just put it away. But that is actually spraying pretty nicely and other than me spraying water everywhere, I have no leakage right down here. So that works pretty good. It's a nice, cheap, simple solution for adding a hand sprayer to your bathtub. If you wanna pick this one up, because it's cheap, about 11 bucks, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda.